Hi oh, YouTube, this is Tone, Chinga Spy. Uh, just a video response to uh, Tower Guard DM's post about the Warhammer Fantasy Battles Army books uh, and using them with uh, Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay, uh, especially the early editions. I think he used them on first edition. Um, I've dug out uh, Warhammer Skaven from probably 6th edition, 2002. Uh, so I'm just going to go run through that with you, uh, with the camera. Um, just quickly breeze through it, see if there's uh, anything in there that picks, you know takes fancy. You might be able to pick it up on eBay for a couple of quid, um, or you know a few bucks. <laughs> uh, uh, the new edition is out. It's uh, for I think it was written when seventh edition of the game was out, but um, obviously the game's on eighth edition now, and it only came out a couple of months beforehand, so uh, it won't be getting changed for you know many years yet. Probably I guess six years maybe. Uh, this was 2002, 2000, you know, 2010, so eight years uh, between books. So um, I think there's some that are even longer than that. So uh, anyway, um, yep. Yeah, see if you like it. I'll uh, I'll go through it now. Um, so uh, next time you see me, we'll be looking at the book. <laughs> see ya. Okay. Uh, so right at the beginning of the book, we've got Origins of the Skaven, and it's got a nice long bit of fluff. Um, turn the page over more fluff about the Skaven um, lovely pictures throughout obviously being a Warhammer product um, their artists are amazing <coughs> um, we've got uh, a map um, not quite similar to what you had in the earlier edition um, not sure if this is better or worse to be honest um, just uh, in grayscale uh, and it's got all the tunnels for the Skaven on with uh, you know like uh, man things, green things, dead things, um, dwarf things, <laughs> you know you get the idea it's all sort of scavenge um, map with all their tunnels meaning they can pretty much pop out anywhere they want um, in the corner I think it's uh, to near Marienburg you've got um, much warp stone in that area on the top left there um, so you know written from a Skaven perspective um, uh, flip over page uh, more into special rules then straight away really end of the fluff um, you know uh, you might be able to go on some stuff out of this uh, you know the write ups of all their special rules <clears throat> it does talk about the clans um, so we've got clan pestilence and you know all the all the fluff that was maybe necessary to you guys and not really the fantasy battle players they just put the filth in and try and win uh, so clan pestilence troops and you get this for all the uh, all the clans clan eshin uh, you know get the idea lovely artwork again <clears throat> sort of two page artworks the Corsair uh, clan Eshin got the assassin uh, troops hide, hide within the, the units gutter runners as well another good troop for the fat battle game clan Mulder, these are the guys that make the big rat men uh, rat ogres and uh, in the 8th edition there's abominations which uh, you know tear up the table at the moment apparently from what I've been listening to on the uh, various podcast radios stations <clears throat> more about the troops pack masters there you go giant rats rat ogres I mean this is a lot of uh, good fluff stuff if you wanted to run any of these units you'd look at this section because later on in the book it, it is literally stat stat blocks so uh, clan skyry um, which is all the warlock engineers um, this is a bit of a story background again there you go they've got the Gisales, uh which are the um, sort of like flintlock rifles uh, flintlock muskets you know uh, high uh, high impact uh, long rifles that they use similar to I think the Empire got Hockland long rifles wind glow batters uh, uh, Sort of um, hand grenades that they use, warp lightning cannons, uh, you know, fo uh, fire throwers, warp fire throwers, 
it's a lot of rules for the actual fantasy battle game but you know you can maybe use it screaming bell <laughs> I'm not sure if that was in there uh, you know uh, it uh, basically demoralizes the opponents and boosts your troops it's a great big swinging bell there's a picture of it the new model for it is fantastic but I don't know if you'd ever include it in any of your games there's the uh, furnace as well I think it's the same kit you can choose one or the other there you go, uh, just running through the armoury as to what you could kit your scaven out with um, uh, you know, and stick to the, the fluff as written a uh, bit about magic I'm not sure if you could convert this over I've, I've never done it so but it's all their all their spell lists there of course going back to 2002 spell lists anyway uh, a lot of it might have changed magic items that you can give for your heroes if you're playing a bit of hero hammer um, armor and stuff like that you know if you had a warlord that you wanted to put in in there um, you could kit them out with this sort of stuff I'm sure you could convert it over into roleplay um, yeah, more loads of it here magic standards you know, I, I, I doubt if you'd have any uh, huge troops facing the um, players but there you go and uh, now we're on to scaling armies and it's really all stat blocks this bit so I'll just quickly go through it um, yeah, you know, the, the usual Warhammer Fantasy Battle stat chart, there you go, Claret Slaves for example, and uh, you know, all this section is just like that. So I'll go through a bit about painting, you know, if you were going to buy the figures, uh, some ideas, how to do it. Uh, just go through this because uh, you might not be worried about this sort of thing. But, uh, it's loads of examples here. Quite a thick book, and you can see there's still a fair amount to go. Um, I'll start from the back, see what's at the back. Uh, just some examples of line art banners that you can put on your troops. It's it's all for the you know model hobby now, really. Um, so yeah, I don't think I'll uh, I'll worry too much about. It. You've got a bit of a story at the back here for some reason. It's at the back. Not quite sure. Nice fluffy story. Well, we had to pick some uh, adventure ideas out of it or base them around some of the special characters which are also at the back uh, Frot the Unclean mm, lovely picture of Frot <laughs> I think he's a Beastmaster, some sort of Beastmaster type character Claire Mulder maybe uh, Grace here, Fanquil there he is he looks like uh, an abomination behind him um, yeah, so there you go. Um, I'll just turn this off and uh, we'll see where we uh, finish up. All right, bye. Well, I actually thought I'll just hold it because my tripod's giving in. Um, I brought the little one with me to work. Um, so I uh, hope this helped win uh, and, and also uh, the person that wrote in to win. I hope it helps them at all in any way. Um, I might be picking up the newer book, but we'll see uh, whether I can be bothered to... Uh, paint uh, 150 200 scaven up uh, and maybe get not get a game so <laughs> there you go um, yeah I, I mean I, I used to play the Warhammer Fancy Battles I, I still love the models uh, sort of collect them and paint them a little bit when I get time but um, you know the books are, are nice to look at every now and then uh, I, I've kept this one for quite a while now so um, uh, just uh, sorry I didn't have the later one sorry mate because uh, the new models are lovely looking, so if you play with minis in your games, um, definitely uh, maybe recommend picking a couple of them boxes of them up and uh, give them a paint. Um, and uh, I think the writing's got a little bit better in uh, Warhammer as well recently. This, you know, uh, um, the, the Black Library uh, guys write a little bits and bobs for uh, the main, you know, the the main company. So. Uh, the, the general writing uh, skill has uh, increased a little bit um, so uh, you know there might be some more interesting fluff uh, in the new book as well can't comment because I don't have it but um, I might have a look at it on the shelf for you next time and maybe give you a little rundown of what I remember alright if I don't pick it up um, anyway hope that helped uh, I'll post this as a video response on uh, on Wynn's uh, previous post okay see ya